this shows the size comparison a little bit more. Wow. I really like that front end though. Fent 937 with 132 foot millennium booms and that big 1600 gallon tank. Of course, I can't find the keys inside, so this is the little teaser you're gonna get. And then another thing that just arrived today is this huge 91,000 ICT Morris tank. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. It is the start of March. It is the second today, and we are at the Saskatoon store because there is lots of stuff showing up, and it is a very exciting time. We can see behind me right now, we got a brand new Morris drill being set up. It's in the shop here. No shanks, no nothing on it. So they're working away getting this one set up. There's lots to go on. And we can see here are a couple pallets of openers. And our nice depth change. Lots of parts and lots to get done, but I'm excited to see it when it's the finished product. Now, if we walk into the back shop and we look over in this far corner, we can see a pretty sweet older Fent 716. This one is old enough to have the silver rims on it for when they first came to North America. But right beside it, this beauty, big 822 just showed up. They're just working, finishing up the PDI on it, I believe. But yeah, this thing is nice. Look at the size difference from that older 7 Series to this new big 8 Series. So in the cab of this brand new 822, this is what it looks like. Got our Vario terminal here. Just like the S4 Series cabs that we know and love. And then going into this 716. It is actually pretty similar looking. You can see the panel on the side here. Our joystick. Just like the new ones just in a little bit of a different spot. But I love these older Fent tractors. I wanna go and see some older Fent tractors in Europe one day. And then as we stand on the trailer here, we can look right here and see a brand new Terragator has just shown up as well. It is exciting when lots of this equipment is starting to arrive. This thing will see some use here in the near future with spring right around the corner. This shows the size comparison a little bit more. Wow. I really like that front end though. We can see front three point hitch, front PTO, two hydraulic valves on the front. 
pretty sweet. And so now we're walking up front because there is the first Fent Row Gator in our showroom. Look at that. This is our first Fent 937 with 132 foot Millennium Booms and that big 1600 gallon tank. This tank is so big, when they ship it, they have the fresh water rinse hanging underneath. We can also see it is a standard height model with the new suspension. This thing is so big, it is so sweet. Look how mean that front end looks. Here we can get a bit better of a view of that big 1600 gallon tank. Whoo boy. Wow. So if you want to check this thing out in person, come to our showroom here in Saskatoon. We can see our first ever Weidemann has shown up. This is the 9580T. So that means it has that telescoping front boom on it. And this thing looks so sweet. Nice big bucket. And I'm excited to drive this thing around. So this is a brand new line that we just took on and we are excited about it. And it's gonna be a lot of fun with these. Beautiful big wheel loaders. Wow. Of course, I can't find the keys inside, so this is the little teaser you're gonna get. And then another thing that just arrived today is this huge 91,000 ICT Morris tank. That thing is massive. This does not do it justice on camera. It is so big. The ICT means that this unit is sectional control. This thing is beautiful. And then last but not least, we have a brand new Dodge Ram 5500 crane truck. So this is our newest service body and it just showed up here two days ago. This is gonna look nice when it's all deckled up. We can see it's a big 5500 diesel. We got the four doors and we got air as well as a crane on this one. This thing is gonna do a lot of good. But that is going to be it for today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button down below. Subscribe button down below. <laughs> my phone died right in the middle of that outro. So I had to come out to my truck to plug it in and charge it. But yeah, we got lots to see coming up. So make sure you stay tuned because we're gonna do some drives. We're gonna do some walk arounds and look at this stuff a little bit closer. But thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.